The OnePlus 6T has a bigger battery, no headphone jack, and is making itself known by being one of the first smartphones to use an on-screen fingerprint sensor. But everything breaks, and design changes can be either good or bad for repairability, so we're doing what we do best and tearing it down to find out. To get started, we bring the heat, our suction cups, and a few picks to get to work on the rear panel adhesive. The adhesive didn't give us too much trouble, and since we know there's no fingerprint sensor cable to be afraid of, we lift off the back case. We want to get the battery disconnected as soon as possible, so next we remove the single screw and bracket protecting the connector. After that, we tackle an army of nine Phillips screws holding down the top shield and reveal the motherboard underneath. We pop off a few more connectors and take out one more screw to free the motherboard with the camera still attached. The rear camera system uses both a 16 megapixel and a 20 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. We heat the shields off the motherboard to reveal 8GB of Samsung-made LPDDR4X DRAM, which is layered over the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 and 128GB of embedded Samsung-made universal flash storage. The non-removable battery with a pull tab for easy removal is back, and it's rated at 14.24 watt hours, which is a huge step up from the 12.70 watt hour battery in the OnePlus 6. The USB-C charging port is all that's left between us and the piece of hardware you've been waiting for, the fingerprint sensor hiding below the display. The sensor comes out as one module with a very delicate cable, and here's how it works. The display uses green light to illuminate your fingerprint so the optical sensor can see it and register it. Pretty cool, huh? The display is all that's left and it even comes with its own screen protector. This is a 6.41 inch Optic AMOLED display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 with 402 pixels per inch. Looking back at all the parts, not much has changed for repairability since the OnePlus 6, so the OnePlus 6T earned the same score of 5 out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, the battery can be removed first once you open the phone. It's only lightly adhered and comes with pull tabs for easy removal. Many components are modular and can be individually replaced, and all the threaded fasteners are of the standard Philips variety. But what tanked the score? Display replacements, which are the most common repairs, are not prioritized in the design. You have to completely disassemble the phone to swap out your screen. Front and back glass means twice the risk of cracks without the benefit of wireless charging. And lastly, the primary access point for all repairs, the rear panel, is firmly glued in place. 